you like to watch a movie, Mr. Phelps? Would you consider the cinema of the Ukraine? Thank you. Mm. Good morning, Mr. Phelps. The man you're looking at is Alexander Golitsyn. He has stolen <laughs> one half of a CIA knuck list. The portion that Golitsyn already has contains code names, but this half is useless without its mate, which Golitsyn plans to steal from the embassy. Your mission, Jim, should you choose to accept it, is to shadow Galitzin to his buyer and apprehend them both. I've already dispatched a team selected from your usual group. This tape will self-destruct in five seconds. Good luck, Jim. is attending the party inside, but he's there to steal the knock list containing the identities of all IMF agents. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to infiltrate the embassy, capture footage of Galitzin stealing the knock list, and follow him to his buyer. Apprehend both of them. You game? Wouldn't have it any other way. Stay out here and keep an eye out. First things first. You'll need to find a way into the facility. Sarah is already undercover at the party. She'll rendezvous with you once you're inside. Claire will be cover outside in the vehicle once Galitzin goes exterior. And Jack, I want you on security and elevator controls. So, I guess I'm not wearing my tux back. Open, close, get out. I'll run everything we have from the crow's nest. If anything goes wrong and I call abort, everyone walk away immediately. Good luck. Try to keep a low profile. Oh, we missed you in Kiev, Jim. Missed you too, Ethan. Where did they put you up this time? The plaza? Actually, it was the Drake Hotel, Chicago. You really shouldn't. Ethan, come across a shiny lock you can't pick yet? Give that stick of gum a try. It's no ordinary chewing gum. No? Nope. Red light, green light. Mash it together and watch the sparks fly. And just don't chew it. Hey, you're not authorized to be here! Stand down now! You'll need to create a distraction to get inside. That fuse box is wired up to the lights on the nearby balcony. Blow those lights and it should attract some attention from security. And then what? Light the fuse! Well, there's only one way to find out. What was that noise? Hmm. It's just the lights. Fuse must have blown. False alarm. All clear. That's your ticket inside, Ethan. Don't miss this window. Undercover. Sarah, keep an eye on Golitsyn and make sure you're in the main hall when Ethan arrives. Ready and waiting. Our target has just arrived too. That's good. If you want to get into the party, you'll need to look the part. Locate a target in the area that will get you past security. Okay, that's a match. Uploading a disguise for you now. Do it. Access granted. 
Right this way, sir. Nicely done, Ethan. Now find Sarah. She'll be waiting for you in the main hall with Galitzin nearby. Okay. Nice of you to drop by, finally. He's in pocket on the stairway. That's our guy. And it looks like he's on the move, too. Head to the restricted area nearby, and gain access to the facility's security camera feed. You should be able to capture the footage of him stealing the knock list from there. restricted area, you might want to change into something a little more suitable. Sarah's right. Looks like your way past that elevator is via one of the uniform security guards in the vicinity. There should be one in the area whose uniform you can take. Hope you didn't get too comfortable in that tuxedo. More like it. You should be able to make it to the denied area now. Access granted. Downloading the knock list, and these cameras should capture the footage. You just need to find the right camera. I'll need 30 seconds. Is that our guy? Negative. Phoenix, I find the price. Copy that. Record the footage and get out of there. We're running out of time. And Galitzin won't be hanging around once the knock list goes onto that disc of his. took your time. We need to get out of here now before security suspect anything. It's on the elevator, Jack. I'm on it. It's it's just taking a little longer than expected. Give me five seconds. All right, Jack. This mission isn't over yet. Come on. Tell me, sir, did you ever have anyone working for you by the name of Jack? An unreliable fellow, as I recall, constantly late. Hey, okay, just relax. I'm working on it. It's not easy doing what I do, you know. Shall we? Better late than never, I suppose.
en route. Sarah, I'm in the package, Jim. I'm coming to you. Negative. We're running out of time. Forget Galitzin. Walk away. That's an order. They knew we were coming, man. They knew we were coming and the disc is gone. Okay, location green in one hour. I'll be there myself. Why was there another team of IMF agents at the embassy tonight? The other day we decoded a message on the internet from a Czech we know as Max. The arms dealer. That's right. See, he'd gotten himself in a position to buy our knock list. But the list clicks and stole was a decoy. Yeah. So operation was involved. And like you, Sam, you survived. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, Hunt. Enough is enough. You've bribed, cajoled, and gotten your own way, and you've done it using loyalties on the inside. I understand you're very upset, but this isn't going to help your cause. Richard, you never seen me very upset. is the mole. We need to stop him at all costs. And I repeat, we need to stop him. Send for backup. Don't let him get away. Take him down. <laughs> up urgently. Do you copy? It's okay. You're in the car. No, I wasn't. I've been disavowed. Kittredge assumes I'm the mole they've been tracing, and I've been in the employ of an arms dealer, Max. <coughs> Whoever the mole is, I think goes by the name of Job. The message is for Job. That's right. I'm going to answer it. <laughs> Thanks, Max. <laughs> I want the complete list now, not just Eastern Europe. Ten million. And one more thing. Your personal assurance that Job will be at the exchange. Hmm. 
Max made a deal with you? I deliver the knock list. Max delivers Joe. We're gonna need some help. What kind of help? Simple game. Back. I'm F mainframe. Inside CIA headquarters in Langley. And you really think we can do this? We're going to do it. Hmm. All set up, Ethan. Your mission should you choose to accept it. <laughs> Sorry, man, I've always wanted to say that. You gotta be kidding. This isn't gonna be a walk in the park, you know. Even for me. This doesn't sound like the Luther Stickle I heard of. This is Langley we're talking about here. IMF headquarters, in case you've forgotten already. If you want to get inside, you're gonna need a big distraction. See the fire alarm system on the roof? If you can set the alarm off, I can hook you up with some gear to get you in undercover. You just need the right outfit first. Excuse me? Well, don't take this personally. But you're kidding yourself if you think you're even gonna get past the front desk looking like that. Luther's right, Ethan. Going undercover is your only option. Relax, Luther. It's much worse. How did you get in here? Drop your weapons now! Yeah, I kind of guessed you'd say that. So, the real knock list. Which terminal is it being held in? Be careful, Ethan. In Fort Kittredge, we have an intruder! Does anybody copy? The terminal is in a black vault lockdown. The only person allowed in the room has to pass through a series of security checks. The intrusion countermeasures are only deactivated by a double electronic key card, which we won't have. And you really think we can do this, don't you? We're going to do it. Whoever the real mole is, they're going to pay for what they did to Jim. <laughs> change your mind about that deal and that this isn't all for nothing
to give it a test drive and set the alarm off already. I triggered the alarm. Jackpot. And here come the cavalry. Sending a little gift your way in three, two, one. Access granted. Three systems operating whenever the technician is out of the room. The first is sound sensitive. Anything above a whisper sets it off. The second system detects any increase in temperature. Even the body heat of an unauthorized person in the room will trigger it if the temperature rises just a single degree. Now that temperature is controlled by the air conditioning coming in through an overhead duct 30 feet above the floor. The third system is on the floor and is pressure sensitive. Believe me when I tell you, gentlemen, all three systems are state-of-the-art. Whoa! How close was that? Very. Maybe you should 
That's not even what makes it a challenge. If you can pull this off and clear your name, then make sure you put in a good word for me, okay? That being said, I'm gonna miss being disreputable. Well, Luther, if it makes you feel any better, I'm always thinking that way. Try any sleight of hand with my money, Ethan, and I won't forget it. After you, Your Majesty. Okay, you're almost at the vault. There should be a vent near your location that leads down into it. You see it? That vent is guarded by a laser net. Those lasers are designed to hurt. Try and avoid them. Yeah, that figures. Anyone would think they're nervous about a certain disavowed agent trying to break in to steal the real knock list. There are no rats in here, I hope. I'm allergic. There's more chance of me parking a helicopter in the lobby inside Fort Knox than us getting in and out of here in one piece. The vault technician is William Dunlow. I'll make sure he stays out of the picture. <laughs> I don't like rats. All clear. Please, be my guest. He wanted us to know he was in London. Dear boy. <laughs> Baggage car, rack three. What about you? Wouldn't worry about him when you get the money. He'll find you. What's the matter? It's not transmitting. Well, try it, try it again. Kittridge is here. We take the money. Ethan takes the blame. No one else has seen you alive. Huh? Mm. Ethan? Yes. Ethan Hunt, darling. You remember him, don't you? 
all ten million. No, Claire was wrong about it. one thing, Jim. What's that? Good morning, Mr. Phelps. I'm not the only one who's seen you alive. Krieger, come in! Do you copy? I copy. Closing in now. Ethan, are you okay? What's going on up there? I'm afraid you're too late. Stay out of my way or face the consequences. Man, I can't believe Phelps was behind all of this. Goes to show you can't trust anyone in our line of work. Get out of my way, Hunt! Don't let him get away, Ethan. Looks like Phelps must have made a few calls of his own.
try to turn me over to Kittredge. I won't be so lenient with you this time. <laughs> This is what you're looking for. Hello, Max. <sighs> Excuse me, Mr. Hunt? Would you like to watch a movie? Would you consider the cinema of the Caribbean? Uh. 